Hey guys, welcome to Minimal Reviews and today I am reviewing Nude by Rihanna. So here it is. It's her third fragrance. And this is a bottle. I like this bottle a lot more than I like them. I don't know why. Mo mostly because it's pinker. And I like that it's silver, that they didn't keep it with the gold theme. That's got the black and gold, and then that's red and gold, and then this is like pale, nudey kind of colour and silver. So I like that they, she hasn't like kept the whole gold theme throughout. I really like that it's gone silver because I think it would have looked really weird if that was gold, but I think that looks cooler. But uh, I got 50 mil of all mine just because I think the 100 mil is huge, and then the 30 mil is really little, and then you know it just looks a bit small. So on all of her um all of her boxes she's got whoop, nearly dropped them. She has got advertisement on all of them. See boxes are so much easier to hold. But like the nude one is so different to the Rebel and Rebel Flutter. So it's just like, I think it's a really nice change because I'm pretty sure it looks like the same photo shoot on that one. On them two and then that one's just like totally different but um i like that the, the so this bottle design and everything is so different to the other two but the same as well so it's like it's a bit different you know it's a bit weird and then it's just totally nude color around the box but um i think that just gives it a lot of simplicity because on these ones it's like gold and the color and so it's just it it's so different yet so the same so it's on the box you can't okay, can you tell you can kind of it's got like a pearlized effect on it so i don't know really you can really tell hmm. you can't really tell but um it does looking at it now it does you just can't really see it on the camera but then ones they're all just like this whole just normal bland color but this has got so she's made it a lot different, but yet the same, and I keep saying that because it is like that. So, if you hold the bottle like this, and I know it looks a bit weird, it kind of looks like a glass, but uh, it's actually meant to look like a stiletto heel, which is pretty cool. So she's got that same design throughout all her bottles, and then you can tell on the inside, it's silver on the inside this time, and all the rest are gold, because it gives the liquid kind of like this goldish kind of colour, except it's not actually gold, it's just the reflection of the water, but this one's silver, so it doesn't really give it a re reflection, it's just, you know, clear, but I think, I think it looks fine, I don't think it needs any, like, colourness to it, but it's got that silver around it there, because hmm. if, if I show you this, it looks like it's got a tinted colour, but that's only because it's got gold in there and that one's got silver so it just kind of you know makes it a lot different from our other bottles but I don't know I, I just love this going around here I don't really know why I do but I just really like it I just think it looks really nice okay so to me this fragrance is so much better than her other two just because I didn't really like her other two that much uh, I didn't really like the after smell, like you kind of got like an after smell from it. The top notes is guava, mandarin, orange and pear. So it does give it this whole fruity effect to it. Like it's not as strong and I think it's really, it's kind of like powdery when you smell it. It kind of smells like that. So the middle notes is jasmine sandback and I'm not really sure what that is because I know jasmine's like a flower. Yeah, and orange blossom flower and gardenia. And I've I've had Gardenia and Orange Blossom Flower in quite a few of my other fragrance, but I think this one I don't really know what it's like. It's kind of like the Christina Aguilera ones, it, but it does. It's definitely a lot like I don't know how to say it. Like it's not as strong. It's kind of like powdered out. It's not immensely strong, which I like about that. So it's not 
too overbearing at all. So the base notes is sandalwood, musk and vanilla orchid. So it gives it this musky smell, you know, it kind of makes it a lot like the um, other two perfumes she's got, so it kind of goes into that. But it, in a way, the notes go fruity, like um, white vanilla, and then the base notes is like musky. So it does, it changes quite a lot, but it does have this whole powdery, like, creamy like whole smell to it but it all comes together and I like that but I definitely like this one a lot more than her other fragrances. Even though the base notes is obviously meant to be the last things you smell and are quite musky but the vanilla orchid in it I think it definitely does you can smell the vanilla quite straight away but I like that I like the vanilla smell so it does it does mix together but it I like that so it's not exactly a bad thing but I like that. I like it. I like a lot of this. So her other two are quite strong. They last quite a while because of the strong smells from it because it's quite musky and things like that and they're really strong. But this one, because it's not as strong, it doesn't last as long as her other two fragrances. But it's not a bad thing. It doesn't last like an hour. It lasts quite a long time, just not as long as her other two. So it's like an average time, you know, about just a normal time limit during the day it's not overbearing when you put it on and then it kind of calms down by the time you've worn it like her other two do but um this one it's kind of like neutral throughout the whole thing and it does last a while but not as long as her other ones so i have two of her um testers that she's got um this one's from Rebel Fleur and it's one of these like pad ones where you have to rip it open and I don't really like these ones because it kind of wastes the perfume in a way, you don't really get to use it that much because you open it and then it's just, yeah. And this one is actually like a little dabber so it's hooked onto the back and it's just a little cute little dabber. Oh, I'm dropping everything. And it's just a little cute dabber, but I think these are, I would rather have a spray one, but I think these are a lot better than her original design of this, because it's so much easier to use, and you don't really waste a lot of it, so I like that, and it's just good for people who don't actually have it, but they can wear it anyway because they've actually got this, but when you got this one, you can wear it like once, because there's not exactly a lot in there, there's four milliliters in there and I don't really know how much is in there um oh 0.4 milliliters and 0.58 in this one so there's more in this one but it's just so much easier to use so I definitely like that design better hey so I have just finished putting my ball together and I have put made by Rihanna here so I gave them, I'm trying to remember what order I put in, my box, bottle, side. Yeah, so the box was 7.5, just because, you know, the other ones had a bit more colour on it and it was a bit, you know, I liked it with the gold and the red on it and stuff instead of just nude colour. Um, then 8.5 for the bottle, because I like the bottle, I think it's different and I like it better than them because I gave 8 for that one, them two, but I do like this one better. And nine for the scent because I like it a lot more than I do um, Rebel and Rebel Flutter and I just really like it and I think it's a really nice smell. So yeah, so it's here on my board of many perfumes. So yeah, that's about it really. But um, I think I just really like it so much better than our other ones. Um, it's just such a really nice smell and it's real daytime, springtime, anytime smell. So, you know, I really like it. So, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe to Mini Mar Reviews and the Mini Molly. So, thank you. Right guys, so next uh, review is going to be Luscious Pink Deluxe Edition by Mariah Carey. So, I know I didn't say what I was going to do on the last one because I wasn't sure what I was going to have nude by Rihanna, so I didn't really want to say it if I didn't have it, and so, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Mini Views and the Mini Molly. So, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.